There's much concern about uh, boosters when it comes to vaccines, particularly the bivalent booster that was just introduced by Moderna here in Canada. Uh, let's see if we can try to clear up some of this confusion. But first, just a bit of a review on uh, how these vaccines work. We're very familiar with the picture of the virus these days with the spike protein on its surface. That's what it uses to clamp onto receptors on a cell, and it's like a key that it uses to enter a cell because the virus can only replicate inside of a cell. Once it enters, it replicates, and that's when all of the, the mischief uh, happens. How do vaccines work? Both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines uh, work uh, on the same principle, messenger RNA. The idea here is to transfer the spike protein into cells using messenger RNA so that the body will then develop antibodies to that protein, clamp onto it, and next time it's encountered on the surface of a virus, it will also clamp onto it and prevent it from entering a cell. That's the, that's the basic idea. And the uh, original vaccines that have been developed, both by Pfizer and Moderna, have done a very good job, certainly in keeping people out of the hospital. But there's a problem. And the problem is that every time that uh, a virus replicates inside of a living cell, which is the only place it can replicate, there's always a chance of making an error in this replication, which means that there can be a slight alteration in the structure of the spike protein. And uh, once that is altered and gets out into the environment, it means that if it infects another person, then even though they may have been previously vaccinated, their antibodies will not recognize this new altered uh, version of the spike protein. The boosters now uh, attempt to uh, confront this particular problem by incorporating into the messenger RNA, not only instructions that code for the original spike protein, but also for whatever variant may be circulating. The Moderna vaccine that was approved in Canada uh, can confront the original virus and the so-called Omicron B1 variant. The only problem is that the Omega B1 variant is no longer the dominant variant. It has been surpassed by the B4 and the B5 variants. Surprisingly, though, and somewhat luckily, it turns out that this new bivalent Moderna uh, vaccine also happens to be effective, although to a lesser degree, against the B4 or the B5 variant. So it is still useful to take it. And importantly, there's human evidence for the increase in the relevant antibodies. There have been human trials where people have been shown uh, that they can increase in response to the vaccine the antibodies both to the B1 and to the original uh, virus. And that's, that's important. But it's also very important to understand that efficacy has not been shown. So far, there's been no trial to show that this bivalent vaccine prevents infections. The only thing we know is that it increases antibody levels, and that is important, and that should prevent in, in infections. Now, in the U.S., both Moderna and Pfizer have been approved for a bivalent vaccine, but not the same as in Canada. Their versions uh, will produce antibodies against the original virus, as well against the B4 and the B5 variant. So they should be more effective. But there is no human data there at all. They have only done studies in mice, and the mice do show elevation of their uh, antibodies in response to the to vaccine. But there is controversy, because some experts suggest that there should be no approval without at least some human trials. And that's where it stands. But the uh, FDA and CDC in the U.S. have decided uh, that uh, the, the data from mice is very reliable because it parallels what has been seen in previous vaccines. Well, that's where it stands. Right now here in Canada, 
we don't know whether or not the same version, uh, the B4, B5 version, will be available. So our best bet now is to roll up your sleeves and let that needle plunge into your arm, bearing the uh, Bonderna uh, bivalent vaccine. So I hope that clarifies some of the uh, issues in this rather compl complex business. Uh, the bottom line is, it is better to be vaccinated than not. And that is our cup of joe for today.